I welcome you to this evening, 4th of June, year 2020, to Let Us Pray section on Lagu Radio and Lagu TV. On behalf of the Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishibi Makaye, the Diocesan Admissioner of the Diocese of Lagos, Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, I am the Reverend Paul Shegun Ujumola. Let us pray. Father, speak to us from the throne of your grace, through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our text shall be taken from Epistle of Paul to Romans, chapter 9, verse 11. Epistle of Paul to Romans, chapter 9, verse 11. For the children be not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to the election might stand, not of works, but of him that called. For the children not being yet born, neither have done any evil or good, that the purpose of God according to the election might stand, not of works, but of him that called. Every organization, community, state, nation has way, process, and guidelines to choose someone to lead or to represent them and to carry out specific tasks. Also, God has way and plan to choose anyone he wishes to carry out his purpose. The task could be for a single person, a group of people, community, nation, and world. God has been in this business from time to time. St. Paul in our text said, God chose Abraham and his descendants to convey the message of love and grace, and his choosing has nothing to do with age, gender, race, but grace alone. St. Paul went ahead to tell his audience that Jews or no Jews, God is working his purpose out every day to reach his image. To Paul, some are chosen to fix things to order, while some are chosen to make things happen. Some are chosen to be president, governor, commissioner, pastors, gatekeepers, carpenters, and many others. It does not matter an office you are occupying. The most important thing is to fulfill the purpose of being in that office, because if you fail to fulfill this great task, it will be recorded as sin. Occupying an office is to carry out the task attached to the office. I hope you will do all within your power to raise other coming behind you, because that is the reason why you are there. Therefore, have you fulfilled the purpose of God upon life? Or you just occupy the place without making any positive impact? Failure to bring God's purpose to reality is tantamount to suffering and eternal condemnation. Are you a politician, civil servant, military officer, pastor? Do it well as it is expected of you by God. You are chosen by grace, not by your ability, degree, and intellectual acumen, but by grace and only grace alone. You are in that office today for God's purpose, to do all within your power to fulfill that purpose now. May the Lord help you. May the Lord help us to do the will of God, to fulfill the purpose of God in our lives. Amen. Let us take the prophetic declaration. Say after me, O Lord, my God, lead me to my destination this month in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray 
you will lead us to our destination in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, God of heaven and heart will lead you to your destination in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord and my God, walk with me and my entire household this month and visit me tonight. I pray God will walk with you and your household in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray God will visit you tonight. You will see the hand of God in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, connect me with destiny helper of my career, my business, my ministry in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, God of heaven and heart, we connect you with your destiny helper in the name of Jesus. That destiny helper, that helper will locate you right now, wherever you are. The man, the woman that God has appointed to help you will locate you right now. You will not miss that person in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Take it again. Father, turn my money to joy and happiness in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. God will wipe away all your tears right now in the name of Jesus Christ. God will wipe away all your tears right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take this one again with me. Father, heal all my disease and give me sound and robust health. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. God will give you sound health in the name of Jesus. God will give you a robust health in the name of Jesus. I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will receive your healing. You will receive your breakthrough. You will receive your deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I pray for you. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Hey, that shame is broken right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for all the parents that are hearing my voice right now. Receive power to conceive in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive power to conceive in the name of Jesus. I pray God will restore joy, happiness to every broken marriage right now in the name of Jesus. I can see God restoring your marriage right now, restoring your work right now, restoring your business right now in the name of Jesus. That business be restored. That marriage be restored. That life be restored. In the name of Jesus, God will attend to all your petition that you have sent or that you have written in the name of Jesus. All your prayer requests as you are listening to Lagu Radio every day. I pray for you, God of heaven and heart, we attend to your prayer request in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' unfailing name, we pray. Amen. 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 Once again, thank you for joining us at the evening segment of the program. Let us pray. Please stay tuned to Lago Radio and Lago TV as we enjoy various rich spiritual programs. Kindly download the Apple Lago Radio for iOS and Android devices on Apple Store and Google Play Store. Join us also on our Facebook handle at Lago Radio Nigeria, on Instagram and Twitter at Lago Radio Org. You can also join us for regular live video broadcast on www.youtube.com slash Lagoon TV. On behalf of our decision and missioner, the Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishibi Olumakaye, I am Reverend Paul Shegun Ujumola from St. David Anglican Church, Idasho. Remain blessed forever. Amen.